Hi, this is John Lockwood for John Next Door, and this tutorial is to show you how to get this faux acrylic um, pouring technique using the new eye zinc ice. Um, and the product's been designed to be multi surface, so it works on any surface that we use. Um, and one of the ideas that we came up with was actually because the chemical composition of this means that it adheres to any surface, it means that we don't have to use any special mediums or anything with it to get the flow and to get the colours to work as they have in this canvas or in here where I've added some of the eye zinc diamonds in. Or this one, which I think I love to call jelly bean, because this is where I didn't mix it properly. So you've got the little sort of blobs of, let's put that one out of the way, you get the little blobs like jelly beans in there. Um, but it's a really simple, easy technique, and it, you don't need anything other than your eye zinc diamonds, some glue, and I'm using the Craft Artist PVA glue because it's a nice, thick glue, and a little bit of water. So really simple, and you don't need to have anything else. So most of this you'll have in your craft room. So what I've got in the little pot here is I've got PVA glue, a little bit of water, like a cap full, and then some of the eye zinc ice. So I'm just going to add a little bit more in just so you can see the consistency. So you've got it a translucent gel that's held in an exclusive binder or medium. And it's that that has the properties that you need to actually get the flow and to make sure that it sticks and adheres. So all I'm going to do is make sure you mix it well with the water and the glue. If you don't, that's when you get the jelly bean type canvas. So you just want to give it a good mix until you've got a nice creamy texture, a little bit like double cream. So I think with the yellow, actually, it looks a little bit more like custard. So what I've done is this one is the yellow. Just make sure we've got this mixed properly. I've then made another one with blue and I've made another one with the aqua or turquoise. And finally, I've got one here, which is just the Craft Artist PVA glue or the acrylic glue along with water. And that is my base. So just make sure that's nice and stirred. I'm just, I can see here, which is why it's worth doing this. If you can catch this one. It's always worth setting up a couple of minutes before. I can see there where I've not got a consistent color. That's because I've not mixed it fully. So I still have some little blobs of the ice in there. And again, I'm using little plastic shot glasses from the shop that's 99p plus a penny. But um, just make sure you don't drink it and you don't leave it hanging around for anyone else to drink. Thinking, oh, that looks like a nice jelly shot. You know, I really wouldn't advise that. So just make sure they're nice and mixed. So I'm going to put my colours to one side. Pop my little plastic fork away. There's the pokey tool. So what I've got here is just a cheap baking tin. It's just an easiest way. I'm sure most people do this with this sort of technique. Easy way to catch all the drips and make sure that I don't get in a mess everywhere. I really don't like being messy. And all I'm going to do is pour over the plain white to start with. And you can either leave it in pools like this or you can take one of your spatulas and just give it a good coating just to make sure that the whole surface is nice and fluid and that everything will pour on top of it well. So I'm just going to smooth that one out. Obviously each technique will give you a different look, but play with this. This is so genuinely so much fun. Just give that one a wipe over. There we go. And all I'm going to do now is to pour my colours. So I'm going to go with the blue. I'm then going to add some green into sort of the centre and a couple of other places. I'm then going to add some yellow and I'm just going to rinse and repeat almost and pop in more colours on top. So I'm going to put some blue into there, fill up some of these little gaps that I've missed. Again with the aqua, same idea. Just dribbling it on and I'm going to finally finish with a little more of the yellow. And then all I need to do is move this and as it moves it will float on the surface and I get a sort of faux marbled effect so you can keep moving it around until you're happy with the colours that you get once you're happy with it let's just fill up that last corner there we go 
Once you're happy with it, we leave that to dry. And I would leave this for at least six hours, but usually overnight. And once it's finished, you will get a canvas that looks like the pieces we were showing earlier. So there, or there, or the jelly bean one. So there we go. So can't hold this one up to show you, um, but that's the whole technique. It's very quick, it's very simple. You can get some really, really nice looks from this. Beautiful canvas, and when it's finished, it is completely sealed, and it will also be waterproof as well because of the ice-ink ice that we've used in it. So to recap, all I've done is mix in my little cups Craft Artist acrylic glue, which is a nice thick glue, a little bit of water to let it down, and then the ice ink ice, which colours it and also provides all of the chemicals I need to make it fluid and work. And that's everything in this tutorial. Um, all of the products that we've used should be available on the Hachanda website, which is www.hachanda.com. And tune in next time for more hints, tips and tutorials. Take care. Bye.